Hey guys, hope you're well. This is Imran from Ims Tech, and today we're going to be using jQueries to create uh, collapsing panels. And just to show you guys an example, I've got the click me button, and I press click me, it opens up the panel. And inside the panel, I've got a picture, I've got text, and you can have whatever you want in there, uh, possibly even videos. Um, so yeah, click me and open close. So we see that on lots of different websites, and we're going to just make a start on that. So okay, the first thing I need to do is create a new HTML document. I've gone and done that already. I uh, just pressed file and new and then I went and created a new HTML document. And I've put some code inside and this is something that we've been talking about on the previous tutorials and basically we've got the script tags script and the type is JavaScript and the source is to this jQuery file right here. This file could be downloaded from j jQuery.com and it's on my first tutorial where I showed you how to download that um, jQuery for beginners part one and I've also gone in and put the document dot ready and the functions so that's pretty basic so this code here is how we start off most of our jQueries or all of our jQueries I think um, so yeah that's pretty standard stuff so I've just gone in and put, in, put that in there what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my design view and I'm going to add a div tag so the way I do that is go to layout and press the div tag so insert div tag and this is just going to be my container so I'm just going to type in cont and then I'm going to press new CSS rule um, press new CSS rule and this is just going to be what holds everything so just going to press um, it's going to be attached to this document just going to hit OK and clicking on the box section I'm going to give it a width of 500 and a height of a thousand pixels and I'm just going to float this to the left okay so this is just a box and everything that we create now will be inside this box so this is our container created and if you want to learn more about CSS um, to check out my tutorials on CSS. Uh, this is just um, I'm assuming you've, we are we've already done this, so I'll, I'm going through this quite fast. So I'm going to press Insert New Div Tag, and what I'm going to do is now create our panel. So I'm just going to type in panel uh, for the class and also for the ID. And there is a difference between classes and IDs, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm just going to hit the OK button. Nope, I wasn't supposed to hit the OK button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press new CSS rule and it's going to be attached to the panel ID which has got a hash in front of it. So how we differentiate between classes and IDs is that a class will have a dot in front of it. So if it was like this that would be associated with the class but because it's got a hashtag in front of it this is sorry a hashtag in front of it it is uh, link to the ID so just remember that I'm going to press OK now um, background we can pick it any background color we want we can um, obviously give it a, a width so I'm going to give it a width of 500 I'm going to give it a height of 500 now this could be as as high as long as long as you want it to be I'm going to float it to the left and we'll talk about a little bit about what that means in a second um, yep uh, let me just think I think that's covered everything. I'm just going to hit the OK button. So this is where our information will go in. So whether it's a picture, a text, a video, whatever, whatever, whatever. And after this, I'm going to click on this div tag right here, and I'm just going to press the right button on the arrow. I'm sorry, on the keyboard. Yep, the right button. So that's taken me outside of that div tag, but it's still inside the container. Okay. So now I'm going to create my button div. So I'm going to press insert new div tag again, same process, this time I'm just going to type in button and press new CSS rule. So last time I made this mistake by not pressing new CSS rule, we actually have to click the new CSS rule button. And now as we can see this is attached to a class because it's got a dot in front of it. So I'm going to press OK and this time what I'm going to do is go into the box section give it a width of 500 I'm just going to give it a height of 100 because I just want it to be a small section I'm going to float it to the left now the reason I uh, floated it to the left is basically what that does is it puts it to the leftmost point inside the container and because it's after the actual panel that we created it's gone to the leftmost point so because it can't fit within there because it's not enough space it'll go below the um, below the the panel itself 
okay I'm going to give it a background color of I'm just gonna give it a uh, I don't know a very light yellowy banana banana type color I'm going to go to this section right here border and I'm just gonna uncheck the same to all and all I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, just going to hit double and I'm going to medium and black so this is just going to be a medium black line a double line over the top of our panel so I'm just going to hit the OK button and fingers crossed that should do it so OK that's done that so far now what I'm going to do is go inside and I'm just going to type in the button the word click me so inside the button panel I'm just going to type in I'm going to highlight this and on the properties panel right here I'm just going to type in the hashtag so that's made it a target or sorry um, a link uh, that doesn't go anywhere so going into the code view so okay now we're ready to type in some of our code okay so what I'm going to do is start off by typing in my jQuery I'm going to open and close my brackets and inside here I'm going to type in dot button so when so this is associated with the dot button and that is this right here so the banana colored uh, div right at the bottom and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say dot click so when this uh, banana when that when a click action is called inside there we want something to happen what do we want to happen we want to trigger a function so I'm gonna open and I'm going to also close my bracket inside and I'm just gonna press space 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 just to shoot, um, get that out of the way just in case I don't forget function and open and close that I'm gonna type in curly brace and curly brace again I'm just gonna put the semicolon at the end of this right here just so I don't forget that so this is the basic structure of what we're gonna do when something with the dot click class has class is clicked so we've got the uh, class with button right here so the button class so when something inside here is clicked then call this function and we're gonna type in that function now um, okay so again I'm gonna start typing in my jQuery and open close brackets so, so we want the action to happen to the hash panel so anything that has the hash panel tag will have this particular action so I'm going to type in slide toggle open close brackets and I'm going to type in oops slow because I want it to animate it in a slow fashion okay so let's just see if that works at the moment so I'm just gonna hit F12 save that if I click it's actually starting to work okay so okay there's just one last thing that I need to do and that is just I'm gonna go into the panel um, section and uh, of the CSS and I'm just gonna type in display and I'm going to type just gonna display that to none so okay so when it's initially loaded it'll display will be zero so if I just hit the F12 key and press that you can see that it starts off blank and then it displays yeah so you we can now just go in there put whatever bit of bits of information into that uh, class so just going into the code you can just press the slash slash so we can just comment that out initially and then put in our information then go back inside and undo the slash slash and then it should hopefully display so that's a decision we've got to make do we want it to actually start off collapsing or not so I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial uh, make sure you comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up take care